Tune in for Patrick Ching's Painting in Paradise, exclusively on OC16. Aloha, I'm Patrick Ching, and thank you for joining me on Painting in Paradise. This episode comes to us from the friendly island of Molokai, where we'll learn about a special Hawaiian parrotfish called the uhu. Then we'll learn how to draw and paint our uhu, all on this colorful episode of Painting in Paradise! It was so nice to be back on Molokai and greeted with the love of the island. Couldn't wait to get to the Molokai Art Center. Hey guys. <laughs> How are you, my friend? We got everything we need. I definitely needed to remember to slow down. I'm just hanging on, not going to fly. Boundaries and false days. There are rainbows and mid-morning showers. People are laughing, loving their hours. Young in the old men, back home we are brothers. So I'm staying on one. Home, I've got to be there. Home, I've got to be there. I'm staying, so I'm leaving, but I'm just hanging on. I definitely want to learn more about the parrot fish or uhu, so we asked Matt Poipoi Poi for his mana'o or ideas. My name is Matt Poipoi. Born and raised on Molokai, live here all my life. Stuck in my memory all the time when I go ocean, I think about all this kind of stuff. When people had hard time, they never had cars like we get today. Everybody go down that beach, they like drive to the spot. Before we got to walk. That was enjoyable because there was li one limiting factor too. You never, you never had to think about conservation. Conservation was, was a part of you already. Well, you know, you, you, you know how much you're going to need. You, we never had ice box, we never had freezer. And so you cannot store the fish. You're going to eat them fresh. And the one you like keep, you're going to dry them, you know. But the ocean is, you know, part of our life. We got our malama. Myself, I only target like three different uhu. One is the uh, uh, palukaluka, the one with the whip tail, the long tail. Before, we used to call them the wild uhu because every time they see you, they, they don't stick around. They, they dash. They, they run away and get the uh, 
Punono, the one with the star eye, with the star bar eye. That one they call it like the, some people call it a sleeping o, night o. You only see when dark moon will come out. And then get the, what we call the ahu ula. The ahu ula and the ulu uli. It's the, it's the more common uhu, the one everybody go after. So get the red and the blue, yeah. The blue is the male. The red is the female. So if you take the male away, well, not a female got to turn male for, you know, take it a, take it a harem, yeah. Yeah, and then sometimes you can see the, the red on when it's changing, you can see the scales on the, on the edge can get blue, blue color on the scale. So get, you can see that color blue and red on a fish. That means that things are changing already. Yeah, the old population way down. That became one kind of one target fish because, you know, people people like eat them. I just use to make them raw. We use the liver with a with a pocky, put them inside a pocky, mix them up, and uh, steam them. There are kind of different ways for make them. But back in the old day. Mostly raw. Everybody, all the old Hawaiians, they like make them raw with the liver. Today, I don't see too many guys do that. So if you look at the teeth, the teeth tell you the story. They're going to gnaw at the, the coral, break them up in pieces. And then, um, but they ingest, it's going to come out of sand, yeah. It's not easy. The fish no change overnight. You know, take them one whole year for go through that process of changing. As part of us, as you know, us and nature, we stay part. We're not separate. We we part of nature. Now get your art supplies ready, because when we return, I'll show you how I draw in uhu. If I were a painter, I would paint my reckoning. If that's the only way for you to be with me. We'd be there together, just like we used to be. Underneath the swelling skies for all to see. And I'm dreaming of a place where I could see your face. And I think my brush would take me. In this painting I call Big Blue, I did paint the Big Blue Uhu, that's a male up front, and a female, that big red one in the back is a female. And the way I went about this painting is, well, first of all, I did the background first. I decided what kind of background I wanted. I went and did the background with its aqua colors, light reflecting off of the sand and off of the coral reef. And you can just put about any color you want in a coral reef and it'd be true, you know? Um, then I went and painted the fish with its lightest colors first, like the yellow going on to orange and greens, and finishing up with the darker colors like the blues, uh, you know, putting highlights like pinks and peach colors in there to just give it a really well-rounded array of colors, like a parrot, which it's named after a parrot fish. And uh, that's how I went about painting in Ubu. The first thing I'm going to do is put a big oval there where I want the Uhu's body. Now you can use a pen, so I'm going to use a pen for this so you can see it pretty good, okay? I'm going to get a nice big oval right around there, okay? And I'm going to follow it with another oval for the tail right around there. Okay, notice how I go nice and soft and uh, loose. Now that's just going to be my guideline. It shows me how big my uhu is on the page. And uh, I'm going to use even a bigger pen now. You can just press harder with your pencil if you want or use a pen. But from here I'm going to, I guess I'll start it right around here at the front. And I will 
take a line going around the top of the uhu's body, swooping it to the tail and bringing it out here. You can make a little bit of a point if you want with your uhu's tail. Yeah, a little point over there. And then swooping the tail to the body. Notice I don't use exactly the lines I used earlier. I'm going to give it a little bit of an open mouth. The uhu has a beak, you know, it has this beak, it actually chomps away at the coral and it digests the, the living parts of the coral and, uh, you know, scoots out the rest. So I'm going to give it a beak right over there. That beak is one reason why they call it a parrotfish. I think another reason is because they're so colorful, like a bird that we know called a parrot. Yeah? Okay, so I tell you what, I'll put his maka right around there. The maka is the eyeball. And a little slit right there for the gill. And now we're ready to do some fins, okay? So up top on the dorsal side, we can put a nice long fin like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. On the bottom, we'll make a same type of fin, but a little shorter. Doo -doo -doo. And right over there, right under that gill slit, we'll add like a triangle fin right there. So like a triangle shaped fin, okay? We actually got two of them if you want to get fancy, you can go doo -doo. All right. One more fin right there. Helps this big fish swim. Maybe some lines like that. You know, some lines on where the fins are. A little bit for the tail. And if you want, you can start to add some scales. But I tell you what, if you're going to color this uhu up, you can sure wait to add scales in the painting section of it, but they sure got these big, beautiful scales. And right there is a basic drawing of a parrotfish called the uhu. Now at this point, you can choose to add your details in here. You know, there's all kinds of species of parrotfish, so you could be going and drawing the designs around the eyes or anything. Uh, deciding if it's male or female, if they have certain color patterns. But you can do this in a drawing stage or you can just get your colored pencils or paints or whatever you're going to use to paint this uhu and get it done then. Now that we got our uhu drawn, let's have some fish painting fun. What do they look like? If you had to choose a bird, what kind of bird would a parrot fish look like? Parrot, right. <laughs> okay, so they have all kinds of colors. They have different sexes, males, females. Sometimes they change. I can't even figure it out. But you can paint your parrotfish just about any color you want. And we can make all kinds of backgrounds we want too. There's just no rules. How would you like to know that you're gonna do a painting and no matter what, it's coming out nice. Isn't that a nice baby, you know? Okay, and that's what's gonna happen today. We cannot go wrong painting a parrotfish with all the beautiful colors in the reef and all the different kind of options we can use to paint the parrotfish. You can paint stars and stripes and checkers and anything on your parrotfish and they're still gonna come out beautiful, okay? So that's good, you got a nice parrotfish going over there. Oh, you know what the Hawaiian name of the parrotfish is? Oh, uhu. Are you a fisherman? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and one little one over there for the back of the tail. Good. Parrotfish, any colors you want. Um, the aunties are going to come with uh, helping you put your favorite colors there. You can pull this easel up a little closer. Be careful now, okay? Settle that easel right there. And I got some super secret sand color right here. You can put it there for whoever wants it. We're going to start to see what your favorite colors are. Do you like any of these colors? Anybody want to start some sand colors? No yellow. <laughs> you want to 
You might want it for later for your underneath background. You like this for your ocean? Put some in the ocean. Are you ready? Just take that color and paint the bed. Just paint all everything except for the fish. We got paint going down. Yep. Ta-da! Oh, you are a brave painter. Look at that beauty. Okay. So they're coming right here. Is that good? Somebody gotta want some sand color, coral color. Okay, I finally sold some. Free, excuse me. I'm over here getting in your way, but that's a good color to have, you know. That is a stroke of genius you just put on there. Take a quick look over here because I'm going to show you a little bit, which you probably already know, but I'm going to review it. A little bit about color and where color starts. These are our primary colors. Let's all say it out loud. Blue, yellow, and red. Okay, that's where color starts. You can't mix anything to get yellow. You can't mix anything to get red. You can't mix anything to get blue. But if you do mix yellow and red together, what do you get? studying for this. Yep, you get orange. What if you mix blue and yellow together? You would get that's right. Cream. Okay, here's a hard one. If you mix red and blue together, you get purple. Purple. Oh, you folks have been studying. Are you, you go to an art center or something? Yeah? That's pretty good. Now, these are our primary colors. Yeah? Red yellow, blue, and we know what we just said, blue and yellow make green, red and yellow make orange, and blue and red make purple. Do you folks know your opposite colors? What colors are opposite from each other? You know that the opposite of orange is what? Blue, yeah. And how about the opposite of purple is yellow? And at Christmas time, the opposite of red is green. These colors we call complementary colors because they're so opposite, they make each other look good. Yeah, when you put them next to each other, it's exciting. And the paintings we're doing today have a lot of exciting colors next to each other, yeah? But if you mix your opposite colors together, you get, what do you get? Brown, yeah? So when you mix your opposite colors together, you get kind of a toned down color or a brown. Okay, that's all my little learning commercial. Get back to your work. <laughs> we have a whole ocean we can paint. We can paint other fishes behind it. Um, what's some of your favorite ocean things? Besides fish. What else is in the ocean that we like to paint? Sharks. Huh? Sharks? 
Uh-huh. You can put a shark. You can put what else swims with the fish? A duck. Dolphin. Not a duck. Okay. See how they put their name on it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Can you paint your name with a little brush here? It's a special red we call chicken head red. No, chicken head red is coming. There we go. Go easy on that red, that is strong stuff, boy. Okay. Your masterpiece, your beautiful oval. I had a wonderful time painting with the kids at the Molokai Art Center. It was a beautiful evening painting with some big kids at Hotel Molokai.
And finally, we topped it off with another big kids class at the Molokai Art Center. Mahalo for joining me on Painting in Paradise. It was so nice to get reacquainted with the people and places of Molokai. I really love the art that was created here too. So for me, Patrick Ching, I wish you aloha.